Who is Boris Johnson? Well, let's start with the simple stuff. His name is actually Alexander Boris de Feffel Johnson. But that's a bit of a mouthful, so no wonder he sticks to Boris. He was born in 1964 in New York City. So fun fact, he could have run for President of the United States too. But he gave up his US citizenship in 2017. Some people have pointed out similarities. Anyway, back to Boris. When he was 13, he got a scholarship to a little old boarding school called Eton College. If you've never heard of it before, it's kind of a big deal. A crazy number of British Prime Ministers went there, a whole bunch of princes, oh, and Bear Grylls. Cool. Eventually, he left there and went to Oxford, another college you might have heard of. So then he became a politician, right? Wrong. He was actually a journalist and newspaper editor for over a decade. It wasn't until 2001 that he took his first official step into Parliament as a member of the Conservative Party. Since then, he's been the Mayor of London, Foreign Secretary, and most recently, the Prime Minister. Now for a quick pause on all that serious stuff, let's check out some sillier highlights from his career. There was a time he got stuck on a zip line, a charity soccer match where he did this, and then kinda did it again later with some kids. <laughs> oh, and this. Over the years, Boris Johnson has kind of owned his goofiness, and he's come a long way. Since July 2019, he's been the leader of the United Kingdom, and he's become the face of Brexit. Boris Johnson's plan is for the UK to fully exit the European Union by December 2020, with or without a finalised trade deal. Brexit's not something you can break down in a few sentences. In fact, it's something we've covered in a bunch of other videos on our channel. But trust me when I say it's not going to be an easy road to next December. For starters, Boris Johnson kind of divides public opinion. Some people don't think he's professional enough to get the job done. And a few politicians have said he's not been honest with them about certain things. Meanwhile, a lot of others reckon he's a breath of fresh air and his different style could be just what the country needs in the future. So it sounds like there will be some interesting times ahead for people in the UK. In the meantime, let's watch that zipline thing again. <laughs> 